Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Norgon 111, and welcome back to Room to Grow. We're back on the mainline path. The next puzzle here is puzzle 16 in the mountains, where we can split our head in two and then swap between them. So it looks like I will be pushing my structure. Ooh. Seems like I have to move my whole cactus down so that I'll be able to push over onto that area. But then things are already a little bit ugly. Yeah, I feel like I'm already dead in the water here. Hold on. Can't go this way. There's nothing to push against to the left. So that did not work. Okay. Actually, could I do... Actually, something like this? And then just... Oh, there is no way to push to the left. Or push to the right by moving to the left. So otherwise, that would be a simple solution to the puzzle. Okay, so with that in mind... Yeah, okay, with that in mind... What if... I do something similar here... Where I push everything down... And then use the other guy to push the entire structure to the right. Oh, I ran into my body. Got it. Can I go back a few squares and not do that? No, but I think I see something I can do. Which is... Switch first. Push the whole structure to the left, switch back, now go down, and now my body's out of the way to push the whole structure to the right. However, I accidentally pushed the upper cactus one extra in the process of doing that. Let's undo a few and see where that happened. It happened right there. So in that case, I want this guy to move over here, I think. So from here... I want to push the whole structure, then move everybody down, and then push this over. No, I just made it worse. All right, I have a sense of what I did. I see, the other cactus is already at his correct location. So in that case, what I want to do... Okay, I think I see it. Is I want to push this. Have this guy move further to the left to make sure he's not going to catch the other cactus. And then have him move the whole structure down. Then have this guy move things to the left again. Uh, this is not going to work. Alright. Starting to see some things. Top Cactus needs to not move. I don't think there's going to be a profitable way to move him, like, right and then back to the left. Because I don't see any way to get leverage to move the whole structure back to the left. So the question is, how do I only get Bottom Cactus? How do I only get Bottom Cactus? So I need... Yeah. 
So if I do this, then somebody's got to push the whole structure down. What if it's you? Oh. Now I'm no longer going to catch the right. And also, I'm stuck. Hard to articulate my thoughts about this, but basically, I do, oops, I do want, want, <laughs> what if this guy just makes a stair step pattern the entire time? Here's the idea. Uh, there's no entire time, though. That's the problem. We can only push the whole structure down once, because then my pot butts up against the bottom of the screen. So if I'm only pushing the whole structure down once, and I think right head is the guy who's pushing down the structure once, then the question becomes, how does left head move us far enough to the right in the process? Okay, eventually we're gonna move the structure down once. It's not yet, so it's okay to do this for a moment. No, I think I actually need to do this, maybe. Let's push everything to the right to get closer to pushing the cactus we want to push. Oh, I think I maybe see it. I think I actually want to do this. Who wants to push down? I think this guy wants to push the whole structure down. Ah, uh, that's closer. I managed to only move the top cactus once. There we go. So if I do this, then, oops, yeah, this, then switch to this guy, then I can move to the right, and then I can move to the right again, and we did it! Okay, so that was a good case of iterating on a solution that was getting close to right, and then undoing a few steps and retrying a few things, and it happened to work. Pretty pleased by that. This is the first time that I would be joining this in the middle in order to get two heads, which is interesting. I don't know that it's the right solution, but it's interesting. Um, right now, it doesn't really look like the right solution to me. Wait a minute, how am I... Wait, what? What? It seems like if I want to separate the two parts, though, I would need to do this. Maybe? I need to pull both left and right. Well, that's possible. There's a push to the right. Actually, hold on a second. I see a possible problem. So I'm gonna go one to the left here for reasons I will explain in a moment. Now I'll be able to push him down when I push the other guy down. Oh, but I can't do that. Right. So after I've pushed down, I need to not push down at the center of the screen. Okay, I have a sense of what we were doing there. So from here,
I need to push left and right. So there's pushing the structure to the right. Now I need to use the other head to push the whole structure down so that I can still push in the opposite direction back to the left. Oh, but then my little nook and crook pushed the other one out of the way at the beginning. Okay, so at the very beginning, let's not be where we would grab him again. And then I think we'll get this. So you're gonna go push everybody down. No. Uh, undo. You're gonna push to the right. Then you're gonna push everybody down. And now I can push that one over there and get that. Yes, great. Okay, that one actually went pretty swiftly. Please just punch. I will leave a couple of letter puzzles over there and move on this way, 18, 19, 20. And then things look like they're gonna get interesting. Okay, puzzle number 18, what do we got? Um, all right. There's a whole bunch of geometry in the bottom of the puzzle that looks suspicious, but let's ignore it for the moment and look at the obvious stuff we could do on top. I could do that. Then I'm kind of stuck. So, the bottom of the puzzle is useful for something. That something is probably getting my pot out of the way. Using a move something like this. And then I could push everything to the left like this and now solve the puzzle. All right, that was actually, once I saw the first bit, very easy. Puzzle 19. That might be the first instance of getting my pot out of the way in the mountain section. I don't remember all the other puzzles to know if that's true. I don't know if that's going to be a recurring theme. But yes, I do see I need to get my pot out of the way again, I think. Because basically, this head is ready to go do what it needs to do, but this head needs the pot out of the way to do anything useful. So, if I have to get my pot out of the way first, I think the way to do it is like this. And then... Mm, still haven't solved it. Because my pot is still kind of in the way. It's closer, but I can't go this way, and I also can't go this way. So how could I have gotten my pot even more out of the way at the beginning? I also just realized I can get this guy there at the beginning, but then I'm trapped. So I can only push the pot up once, and he's still in the way. Hmm. Also, I haven't thought too deeply about it, but if we imagine for a moment that I'd gotten that guy to the correct solution, maybe I don't split myself, and I do some work and then do that. Seems kind of unlikely, it would be a weird misdirection. That I haven't seen these puzzles do yet, but I'm just pointing it out as an option, mostly to my future self, because maybe in a later puzzle something like that will happen. I can get my pot out of the way this way. It didn't occur to me that down is a possible initial move. Don't think it's a profitable one though. I don't see anything I can do usefully here. If, also, if I undo one move, it does just blink me back in time. It doesn't reverse the animation. Okay. And going farther this way doesn't seem like it's going to help. Okay. Is there any case where right first is going to be smart? No. 
So down doesn't seem like it's going to help me. Left doesn't seem like it's going to help me. Right doesn't seem like it's going to help me. So I do think the first move is up. Is there ever a way that I can push the whole structure to the right? Because if so, then I don't need to use a head to push the top cactus to the goal. I could use the middle of the body to push the top cactus to the goal. But I don't see anywhere that I can press against the left. So I think I do need to use a head to poke the top cactus into the goal. So the question is, how do I get a head? How do I get a head in life? Um, how do I get a head on the left-hand side of the cactus without the pot being in the way? This is exactly the problem we had at the very beginning. I said that I didn't think down was a legal first move. How sure am I about that? So there's down left. Here's down down. Here's down right. And I'm pretty sure about it. And if I get this guy here already, I can't go this way. I can't go this way. I can't go this way. Hmm. And did I try going right at the beginning first? Yeah, and there's no useful way that I can go here. I'm feeling pretty stumped on this one for the moment. The only thing I've tried to get the pot out of the way is this, but that's because it's the only way I could, right? Wait a minute. It just occurred to me. No. But that's another way to push the structure up. But that seems better. It's still in the way. I don't see a way to get it out of the way. Is there ever a case... No, I can't go up or down at this point. Hmm. Imagine, for a moment, this scenario. If there was anywhere I could gain leverage to push the entire structure to the right, it would move both cactuses. However, I can't push the structure to the right because the middle portion of my body between my two heads would be up against a wall, and also because there's nowhere in the puzzle to get leverage to push the entire structure to the right. So other than the fact that it's impossible in two different ways, that would be good. And it's important to call out such ridiculous impossibilities because I've painted myself into a corner where the entire puzzle seems impossible. So one of my assumptions, one of my understandings is wrong. And I need to figure out which one and how to get around it. very satisfying sound the moment when you put it into the right spot
All right, I have been doing this or doing this. Is there any situation where I'd want to do this? I don't think so. That seems supremely unhelpful. Yeah, I can't move up twice. Oh, boy. This one's really getting me. It just seems like the possibility space in this one is very small. Like, I think I've thoroughly convinced myself that the first move has to be up. Going right doesn't work. So all I could do from here is go up or left. If I go up, it seems patently impossible to ever push that thing there. So it seems like up and left has to be how things are going to begin. Is there anything funny happening here? No. Is there any reason to do something crazy like this? You can't really do anything for me. So that seems like the most promising beginning, but it's just not enough. Because I can't do this. And I just can't deal with this final cactus. Alright, I feel thoroughly stumped on this one. So we are going to skip that level for the moment and check out level 20. I think that makes the most sense. I can think about that one on my own. Uh, off camera, perhaps. What happens if a cactus slides? It doesn't slide. Okay, so I see the problem. Do I see a solution? No. <laughs> Oh, I, all right. My intention there was to go up and press the whole structure this way. Um, but I wanted to move one further fewer to the right. But then once I hit the end of the slidey ice, I did that. Okay. Hmm. What if I start by going down? That seems helpful somehow. I'm not certain how just yet. Because I seem trapped here. And I still can't push this way. I could do this. Aha! Okay. That's another one where the way my shape fit into the puzzle at the very end, which I'm actually just going to go and execute it again, uh, just to demonstrate. Uh, so yeah, look at, before I make the puzzle go away, look at how the top right of me just fits into the available space. 
And so it kind of like suggests an end shape. Um, that might be a possible goal. I haven't worked backwards like that before, but it seems like a possible thing. Um, does this matter? It's kind of weird that I have two heads here. And I imagine this will go away, yeah, when I go into level 21, so I guess that doesn't matter. Not sure why that was there. It looks like I'm going to need three heads that create three different crooks around the cacti and then pull the entire structure to the right at once. So my first question is, how can I get three productive heads? There's two of them. The obvious problem with trying to get a third is that one of the heads is kind of trapped on the inside of this structure. Due to the shape of the grid. Hmm. That does seem like a problem. And if I just grab the end, then I only have two heads rather than three. Which doesn't seem like it'll be enough. Eh, maybe it will be enough. No. Because once I make a little crook in here, there's no way for this head to get out. So similarly, once I make a little crook in here, there's no way for this head to get out. And so... I need a third head. So what if... I instead... I realize that I'm cutting myself off from getting in the upper left right now. But I'm investigating. This has the exact same problem, that one of the heads, namely this one, is kind of inside my own structure now, in a non-useful way. So is there a way to provide enough space? Yeah, I think I'm starting to see something. Something along these lines. I'm trying to create a lot of extra space in the puzzle. Can't do that much though, hold on. A lot of extra space in the puzzle. Or I can move my pot out of the way. Actually, that doesn't quite work. I think I need to push against the middle here. Move my pot kind of... Ooh, no, that's bad. What actually happens here? Okay, I do run into my own body that way. Okay. How about... I don't love this, but... That's totally not going to work. Hmm. I still have kind of a vague sense of what I'm trying to accomplish. What happens if I push my body into this? Nothing. And the lines stay. Okay. That was just information I didn't have before. Okay, maybe this is the first move. What happens if I push one of my heads into the middle of that other thingy? That's something I'm quite curious about. So let me make it more concrete. What happens if I push the entire structure to the right? And then wake up. 
he immediately tries to slide in both directions. One of the directions goes back against the whatever, okay. And what if instead... He had been like this. Oh wait, I forgot to split at the beginning. What if instead he had been like this? And then I pushed him into there. He's not awake, and so he hasn't grown anywhere yet. But then when he wakes up, he does grow somewhere. And look at this, I have three available heads. I think this works. N uh, undo. So while this guy is free, I need to get him down into the bottom area. Then, while this guy is free, I need to get him into the middle area. And then while I still have space, this guy needs to go into the top area. Make his crook. Make his crook. Make his crook. And then push them all to the right. Oh yeah! Okay, that one felt really good to solve. That was cool. All right, I don't feel like we got through many puzzles today. Like four, maybe? <laughs> maybe five, I don't remember. Um, but it definitely feels like it's slowing down, but I'm still making progress and it feels really good when I get something great. So I think we'll go ahead and end this one here. I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with more Room to Grow. For now, bye-bye.